Alright, hello, and welcome back to Jump One Half. So, the game is already complete, but as with any Tacos game, there's a bit of a post-game, so time to be going back to school, Negative School, by Six Corby. Presumably, the more I learn here, the less I actually know. Oh, alright. Well, we don't want to get the power up, because then we'll just fall and die, so let's not do that. Alright, I gotta bump this and then go back. See ya. And this will probably give me another pea balloon. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta slip up here. Not sure what the danger of that mushroom is. Makes me believe I wanna go up here. I'm just gonna die, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure why that mushroom is there then, if there's nothing actually up there. There aren't any dragon coins in this level. Thankfully the pea balloon controls in this game are much nicer. You can go all directions fairly quickly. You just take a little bit of extra time. Oh, I gotta make that chuck jump. That's why I gotta go up there. Well, I figured that out just in time and barely got that pea balloon. All right, what do I have to kick this into? And then we have to go up and dodge the feathers. Cool. Now let's grab myself another pea balloon. Okay, gotta go down and touch this and go back up. Whoa. Dang it. Well. What is this music from anyways? Is it like Sonic or something? Okay, that obstacle is kind of sketchy because the, uh, those things are out of sync. Okay, that was close. What are you gonna kick at what? Oh! Shoot, my P-switch ran, ran out, and I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was just, it was just making me mess up. Now, go over the fish, and then this will give me another people in, so let's just grab it. Nice. Disco shell, if I hit it, I just bounce. Not sure how I'm supposed to get in there. That must be how I get to the secret exit, but I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe it'll become clear eventually. Oh, and we, again, we don't want the power up, but for different reason, because we need to bounce on those things. Ugh, crud. I'm pretty sure I'm toast. <laughs> that was a bit as that was almost as good as I could have done, and it wasn't good enough. What happens if I go back now? Oh, okay, this is blocking the way. Okay, we can't go back in the pipe with the star. That would have been cute, I suppose, but <laughs> it isn't an option. Now, just go at any moment. Whoops! Well, I did manage to dodge the star. Didn't help me that much, but I did dodge the star, for the record. <laughs> Just go back and forth, and we can even land back on the pipes again. That works out. Oh shoot. Okay, that worked. Oh, this will probably grow fine. Oh shoot, that's a star. Oh, good thing I got out of the way at least. Okay, now that I know what you're gonna do... I'm very far back in the scrolling and now I'm not. Dang it. I ended up leaving it too long and then I didn't have time to react correctly. 
Dang it. into the gap ASAP. Now I'm hoping I'm pretty close to the end. Ugh, wow, that was bad. Okay, you're gonna go around in the square. And there's my exit pipe. Oh boy, I'm hoping that's it. That's the end of it. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I just dodged it on reflex thinking, it's part of the gimmick of the level, I should do that, and I guess I get a moon for it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like, normally there would be absolutely no reason to avoid a power-up in that situation, but, like, after an entire level of avoiding power-ups, you've learned it. It's cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's try to get myself that secret exit. So my thoughts on the secret exit so far, I'm assuming there's some way I have to rebel against uh, school policies and get myself a uh, power-up. Uh, oh no, that was dumb. <laughs> I managed to kick it left. That's a pretty bad fail. So I'm not sure what the trick is, but we can choose this just by using the rosary. Um, so I'm pretty sure I just broke it, but whatever. Uh, for all I know, that's what was intended. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yoshi doesn't isn't allowed to eat any power-ups either. Now that we've learned our lesson, we need to teach it uh, to the next generation. Oink. Oh, can I drag Yoshi through here? Okay, yeah, I can. That works. Flip this up here, and then I dodge the power-up. Just go over it. Okay, this is hard. Wow, okay. Definitely taking the kids off with a... Kid gloves off with an obstacle like that. Just run. Uh, we can't go up there. Just flip it up as fast as possible, pretty much, because... Okay, I gotta hit this and then go. Wow. And then we get a key. I can't believe that worked out as well as it did, but <laughs> it worked out, so I'll take it. Still not sure if I was cheating with the rosary. I feel like I probably was. But it's possible that uh, that's just a check of whether you have the rosary or not by this point. I don't know. So, I'm assuming Edinburgh takes me to the end, whatever the end is here. So I'm going to go here first. One step forward, two jumps back by Miracle Water. So I'm assuming I'm going to very literally need to follow that title. Scientists have recently uncovered the secret to air jumping and sealed it into glass vials. Try it now and you'll and reach heights you never could. Oh, and it even gives me a counter for how many jumps I have, so... It's possible that I'll have other colored potions or something like that that will... Okay, cool. And can I change what jump I do in midair? Not sure how to test it. Okay, I didn't even need to bounce on the thwomp there, but it worked. Grab it. Yoink. I almost tried to double jump there. Uh, that would have failed considering I didn't have a potion, so I'm glad I didn't try to do that. Whoa, I didn't even see the statue until I had already walked off. Okay, not sure how we're supposed to play this. I think I need to lure the thwomp down the hole. 
and then not waste my double jump powers. Warning, some vials will grant you more than a single jump, but remember they will not stack with each other. Okay. I just realized there's like a thousand seconds on the clock. Um. Cool. I at least survived with that power up. Oh, okay. We probably don't want to waste a jump here on this when we can use the dry bones to get up. Not sure how I was supposed to deal with that. Okay, I was supposed to use my jumps uh, less judiciously there. Whatever I said. Okay. I guess there's a shortcut over the top if I manage to preserve an extra jump there, which I'm pretty sure is possible by spin jumping on the saws. So I'll have to try that for next time. There's probably a vial here. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there is, but I have to... Oh no, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to just do this. And then jump up here. Well, now that I've wasted all of my power-ups... I'm not convinced there will be a midpoint soon, considering how much time there is left, and then I mess that up too, so... So you gotta be really quick on the draw there. Um, okay, just let them go... Uh, okay, that worked. Dang it. Oh, we made it. Cool. I'm glad. Right, dragon coins, up, continue. Okay, maybe the dragon coins are the reason why I need... Okay, so I get four of them pretty much for free. And I also get a one-up, apparently. And looks like this last one... Oh, I think the one-up was there to save my dragon coins. <laughs> Point of advice. The dragon coin you see can be found off to the far right of the room. Okay, good to know. So maybe that's telling me how many jumps I get from each of these. Can't go through there. Obviously, the solution is to wall jump. Um, so I get three from this. We have four from that. So I assume the puzzle is to figure out how I want to use each of these potions. So I probably want to jump once to hit the switch. Use the second one to do that. My guess is we probably want to save that one for later, since I still have a jump left with this one. And I pretty much had to get this one. So we want to go up this way. So if that's the case, then what do I do now? Yeah, I think I made a bad assumption somewhere. So... We can only come back from there. Yeah, I can't go anywhere anymore. Looks like my timer resets too, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I'm thinking then that I need to go up first, because otherwise I don't need three jumps on this potion. So what do I do? I can step on that platform, use it to hit a switch, or I can just go over this wall. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely wrong. I thought I was going to be able to ride it. Uh, despite the ceiling there, but that that wasn't correct. So we want to either hit the switch or just go over this wall. I'm going to just go over, see what that does. Because that might be the trick. Well, I can only go down now. I can use this potion to jump up there once, or I can go back to the start. I'm assuming going back to the start isn't very useful. So what exactly is that vine block for? Not sure. Well, let's try looping around again and grabbing that two potion now. There's nothing in here, right? Well, 
Actually, I didn't need to loop around to grab the two potion. I'm not sure how to get the four jump, exactly. Oh, whatever. Let's go up here. I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but... Okay, so this allows us to hit this block for free. And that allows us to go down there and get the four potion. Maybe I need to get the four potion over here. I don't know. I don't... Maybe that's the goal? Don't want to land on it, though. Okay. So we have to hit the switch to go down here and get it. But we have to use up a charge to get out. One way or another. But we can choose whether we want to hit the switch again or not. I think I would, right? Okay, I, I would want to hit the switch again, because then I could get past here. Let's just try going over here. So one, two, three. I only need three of my jumps, so I, I was pretty close to solving the puzzle. I just need to do the last step right. Well, if I, I'm solving the puzzle right, why is, am I missing on something with that platform? Okay, I, I really can't just jump out like this. That doesn't make any sense. That, that only gives me two jumps. Hmm, I don't need to get the two potion to go around here and hit this switch. Let's try that. Okay, well that preserves the two potion, but I'm not sure how that helps me. As far as I can tell, I don't need to hit this vine. I don't see what it would actually be good for. Except breaking the rope. I suppose it would break the rope, but what's the point of that? Oh wait, I probably don't want to break either. I probably want to get that platform over to the right side. I'm not sure how to prevent it from despawning, though, so it would have to be useful for something over there. Unless maybe it doesn't despawn and I'm supposed to go through this way with the 4 potion to land on it. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's the solution. But the problem is, how do I land on that platform and then get over to the right side? Because the three potion doesn't do it for me. As far as I can tell, I can't get any other potion up here, can I? Yeah, I don't see any way to get up here with more than one jump. So let's hit the switch. Oh, okay, maybe that's what this one potion is for. Because now I can step on the platform and go all the way to the right. But that might have to be the last step. Because I'm assuming the plat there's nothing weird here. The platform's just going to despawn if I leave the screen. Oh, maybe now that it's on the... Let's, let's try again. Yeah, it despawned, so that's no good at all.
Oh, I have to actually collect this two potion earlier, I suppose. But I think other than that it would work. Okay, so we have to use this to bash the switch. And then we use this to grab the two potion. And then we have to go this way because otherwise we can't get out. And then we get back up here with one more jump to spare. And then I think I have to just... Well, then I can't trigger the platform. Dang it. Now we can get the one potion, the final one potion, and that should be everything I need. Get that. Go through this tunnel. We don't care about hitting these vine blocks now, so we can go all the way to the right this way. And I've got my three jumps. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh no, never mind, it doesn't matter because I can wait. Oh, the platform's gone. No, it doesn't matter if the platform's gone or not. Wait, how did I lose my jump? That was stupid. I'm pretty sure I didn't need to use an extra jump there. I just messed up. Well, whatever. I'll just solve it again. This time, let's not just waste our jumps for no reason. One, two, three. And there's the last dragon coin. Nice. That was a pretty nice puzzle to solve. It was mostly just about the sequence where we grabbed the the potions in. And you just mostly had to do the most non-obvious thing in each case, but... That, that was just kind of sort of my train of thought at the end of it when I was uh, finally putting the solution together. Right, dragon coins up, continue. Oh, okay, let's just continue then. I forgot, I forgot the lay of the land there. So I have no potions at all right now. Okay, uh, let's do that. B. It wants me to B, so let's do that. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm supposed to throw them upwards. Well, I took a hit for that, but... Too bad I have to use the potion there. Okay, that works go up, I'll probably get a potion immediately. Ooh, I have a cape. That's nice. So we probably want to grab ourselves a block, and then do what with it? I forgot about the whole being able to jump a whole bunch of extra times thing somehow. Well, that was a use for my rosary, I suppose. <laughs> I think the disco power up uh, messed me up there, because I was trying to compensate as if it was a regular disco. Okay, we... This time, I'm pretty sure we want to use the dry bones to get up here. Oh, never mind. Uh, it was the only way to get up here. <laughs> Jump through here. Probably want to... Okay, this is... Forget conserving it. Oh, shoot. I can't spin jump after going through there. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, did that thwomp just kill me in one hit? <laughs> Maybe it did to prevent me from cheating something, I don't know. 
Shoot, I was trying to just glide down. Oh, at least I don't need all my jumps for this. Oh, shoot. I probably need more than that. Well, I'm dead. Darn it, not getting that back. And I wasted my jump. Is there a reset here? No. I... Oh, I have to take a hit to get to the reset. So there is technically a reset, but it sucks. <laughs> Okay, so this time jump and then just float down. <laughs> and this time I preserved my cape, which is probably going to be helpful. Definitely makes this a lot easier. And then I lose it. That's unfortunate. Here's the platform. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to keep the platform on the screen. Yeah, that's why I have so many extra jumps here. And then we go here. Whew. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, that just sucks. <laughs> For some reason, like, I mean, the line, it clearly showed that the line ended, but I didn't really see it coming ahead of time regardless. Okay, this time, let's use... Wait, what? How am I supposed to... too fast? No. Okay, I must not... Okay. We gotta stall this out. Dang it. Did I need to keep that? Looks like I didn't. We're good. So I'm assuming I'm not supposed to go that way. Don't so see why I'd need to. Looks like just a normal spin jump on a saw that I messed up. So where are we supposed- to, which one are we supposed to go into? Assuming it's not just pick a pipe or something. I get one jump. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so each one gives me a different potion that gives me a different number of 1-ups. That's fine. <laughs> oh, and if I get the 4 potion, I get a moon. Well, I miss out on the moon, but whatever. Oh, that was definitely a stressful <laughs> level. In a good way. Stressful in a good way. Uh, the po Like, keeping mental track of how many potion hit jumps you have left, while also platforming around obstacles, it it's kind of difficult. Let's see how much time I spend. Yep, looks like that's it for now. See you next time!